Hello, my Minecraft family. Welcome back to Simply Mindless. Ooh, hey, the fish is trying to get out. Uh, yes, yeah, so welcome back to Simply Mindless. It is Thursday, October 14th. And, uh, yeah, we got some news yesterday. I'm sure most of you have seen that uh, the third mob candidate for the uh, Minecraft Live vote is out. Yes. And uh, if you haven't heard, it is the Copper Golem. Yeah, I gotta turn this volume down. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Music and sound. Hostile creatures down a little bit. All right. Yeah. So the Copper Golem. Now, when I first saw the name Copper Golem on the video, I was so freaking excited because I had just been talking. Uh, to a friend of mine about the copper golem. I was like, why isn't there a copper golem? There should be a copper golem, but there's no copper golem. So I was like, hmm, they should make one. And I said, well, how would that work? It's like we already have an iron golem, so would you make another version of that? And it would, you know, help you out and, you know, fight for you and all that kind of stuff. And I'd be like, eh, it would kind of just be another iron golem, you know, just different color. And then I started thinking. I said, well, if the villagers are the ones that produce iron golems to help them out, you know, defensively or even offensively, then a copper golem should be created by pillagers, right? Don't you think that should be the way? I, I think so. I think that would be so cool if pillagers were the ones that created copper golems. So whenever a pillager raid party would show up or something and you start attacking them, they maybe have a chance to spawn a... Uh, to spawn a copper golem to fight for them. I mean, how cool would that be? I think that would be so cool. And then it would, like, give that whole pillager attacking your village, like, a, a more emphasis, you know. So I think that would be pretty cool. And where is my... Oh, yeah, put it over here. I forgot I got a new chest. Uh, let's grab that pick. Let's grab this pick. All right. So, yes, the iron... Or not the iron golem, the um, copper golem. So, anyway... It looks like they've created kind of like a fun mob in, in that respect. Uh, I don't know exactly how it would be used. I mean, it randomly goes around and pushes copper buttons, which to me... Uh, I need some torches. Which to me seems a little strange. I mean, it, it, it kind of would give, like, life and activity to a build that you put together, which I think is really kind of a neat idea. So it looks like there's like people there and there's people living there and things are happening. If you set up redstone, you know, you could have it trigger things randomly, turn lights on and off, that kind of thing. So that that's kind of cool. I mean, I, I don't mind that. And I could definitely see how like in maybe a SMP server, you could kind of have the copper golems doing random things that uh, could maybe bring a little chaos to the server. So that would be neat. And... I'm guessing I, I'm not really much of a mini game creator or even player, but uh, I'm sure they can be used in mini games because um, mini games definitely use a lot of you know randomization. So I think that would be kind of neat. See what people come up with. I mean, especially people like Tango Tech or something. I have no idea what just happened. My screen just switched out. Okay, so. Uh, why am I down in the mine? Because I'm trying to get some more diamond. Yes, today is going to be some diamond mining. And I've been doing everything here on, what, level 11? Yeah. But uh, I did some more research and did some of my own investigating on a creative world. And definitely level 6 looks like a better level. Uh, so I'm going to work my way down to level 6. And, uh, yeah, going to work my way down to level 6. And see if we can't find some diamond. So this will give us, uh, well, this will give the sugar cane time to grow. So this is 10, this is 9, 8. And this will be 7. And one more will be 6. Yeah, so this will put me in the area. It will give my sugar cane time to grow because we definitely want that to grow. So we can uh, finish off our enchantment table. So I thought this would be uh, be something good to do. Plus, I'm going to need a lot of cobblestone and a lot of stone. And uh, the reason for that is because I am going to use it up on the mob farm area. So as I build that out, I'm going to build, yes, I'm going to do the 
castle in the sky or the floating castle on the sky island uh, thing thing so yeah so anyway that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna need a lot of cobblestone for that I don't need more redstone but eh, what the heck let's grab it anyway oh yeah so I put out a little quick little video about the uh, copper golem and my thoughts and as much as I think it's it, it's an interesting aspect to the game it kind of adds that uh, dynamic passive or passive dynamic to the game uh, yeah, I'm sorry I'm just I, I'm, I, I'm playing and I'm like wondering I'm like why is it not getting darker and then I realize because I'm running with shaders and with shaders if you're holding a torch it lights up your area so it's kind of confused me a little bit there sorry about that uh, yeah back back to the the my analysis of the copper golem so uh, other, other than it being just like this fun little thing to have I still have to go with the LA the LA just to me has so much more capability and uh, I know a lot of people tend to think it, it would be a little OP and might change too much of the dynamics of the game but I, I think I think it's a good end game uh, creature uh, whereas the other ones aren't well, I mean, maybe they could be. I mean, they, yeah, I mean, the glare to me is not so much an endgame guy. He's kind of like a nice-to-have. So, why can't I place a torch? Oh, that's weird. All right. But either way, I, I'm just excited about the whole thing. So, I just can't wait. I can't wait. A couple more days. And I think uh, you have to have a Twitter account in order to place your vote. And I don't have a Twitter account, so... Uh, I guess I'll be getting one soon, so I can place my vote, because I definitely want the LA. Sorry for all you out there that want something different, but, uh, you know, that's how voting goes. Let's see. Best vote wins, right? But for the LA, I, I, yeah, I mean, there's still a lot of questions that need to be answered. It And one of the questions is its capacity, and I was watching a video by, um, Logical Geek Boy, he kind of did a comparison of the three. And in his video, he kind of brought up the capacity issue. And I don't know who he was talking to, maybe one of the devs or something um, on Twitter. But it was very interesting because the dev replied to his comment about, what about uh, non-stackable items? And the dev said, oh, yeah, well, it can pick up non-stackable items. And as soon as you say that, you're like, oh, okay, well, if it can pick up non-stackable items, then maybe it, it only has one available slot. So it can only hold one stack uh, of anything or one non-stackable item. And so I thought that was a pretty good deduction on his part. And if that's the case, then it can only hold a stack of items. I mean, that's still good, but it's, it's not super fantastic. But anyway... I still like it. I like it. And yes, I don't particularly care for the fact that it's like a cousin of the Vex, because, I don't know, to me the Vex, the Vex is an interesting mob, but I don't particularly like it. I mean, it looks like an evil fairy, and I'm not a big fairy person, so, <laughs> so I don't really care for it. But anyway, anyway, it is what it is. And, I mean, the glare, the glare has, uh, some interesting aspects too i mean it, it's the fact that it can find dark spots is really freaking cool for when you build a big base so you have like a big mega base or something and it's like yeah you don't want some little spot that you forget about that a creeper can spawn and blow up you know a lot of your good work so you could just like toss a glare out there and he'll go out and find find the dark spot and you can take care of it ah, i keep forgetting the light up stuff so, yeah, so the glare is pretty cool um, for that that respect. But for me, he's kind of like a one-and-done type of mob. It's like you toss him out there, he has, a, he has a job to do, he takes care of the job, and then what do you do with him? So he's kind of a one-and-done. And, done. and I, I guess so, so, so is the uh, Copper Golem, you know, because over time he oxidizes, freezes up, and then he becomes a decoration. Now he's a cool decoration, don't get me wrong. I think that would be like a fantastic decoration to have. Um, but at the same time, he's kind of like, hey, he's a one and done. He, he does his thing, and and that's it. So, where the LA, it looks like you could just use that mob all throughout the game. I mean, beginning, end, middle, all stages of the game. So, anyway. Yep, drop me a line. Tell me what you think. 
what you guys might be voting for and why. Uh, how are we doing on time? Where are we at? We got five minutes to go. And I'm not finding anything down here. Which is very sad. Yep, so what I did in a uh, creative world... So I went into a creative world, brand new seed, and I created a perimeter. So I did a, a 128 by 128 uh, square, and I got rid of all the blocks except diamond blocks. And then I went in and looked around to see what level they were at. And yeah, sure enough, level 6, if you just kind of proceeded on level 6, you'd, you'd get most of the diamond blocks that showed up. And I was like, okay, so in this world I've been doing level 11. Level 11 kind of gives you a, a good variety. You know, you hit a few, but certainly not as many as you did at uh, 6. So that's why I'm down here. But I am... I was expecting to actually find more diamond by now. Based on the distribution that I saw uh, in my creative test. So this is a little disheartening. Do do, but we'll try in the other direction and see what happens. Okay, so these are my stairs, and let's light those up. And let's go this way. Come on, diamond. Either way, we're collecting a lot of resources, so that's good. It's like I say, I'll be using those. Build out my floating island. And I'm really anxious to get back into the nether. I know I clean that up yesterday, and I was thinking, oh, well, I'll go into it today. Um, but there's kind of two reasons I didn't want to do that. One is because I wanted to be in the area for the sugar cane to grow. And two, with the shaders on, it is... Uh, the nether's pretty difficult, especially with, with the area that I'm in with all that lava. So I was like, well, let's kind of just uh, let's do some mining today. It is a third... Uh, uh, little Friday. It is a little Friday, so why not? Uh, ooh, how do I get out? Where? Um, torches on the right go steeper. Torches on the left go out. So this is out. 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 Oh, okay. It's right there. Jeez. Sorry about that. I'm getting a little confused. I'm confusing myself today. Uh, let's grab another two. Let's grab another two. And nothing in there. Okay, there we go, there we go. Uh, where did I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? I'm going to make myself a better path. Hey, bat. Right, let's put a torch there. Oh, so I hope you guys are all having a great week. I know I saw some of you uh, have released some videos, so that's pretty cool. I got some stuff to watch. I always like watching other people's stuff. Uh, most of the videos I uh, see coming out, at least this week, is about the, the mob vote. But I did see some others, so that's kind of cool. I do enjoy those videos, so keep them coming. And we're probably getting close. Yep, minute and a half. Hey, I was hoping to find some diamond. All right, well, hey, I'll take uh, I'll take iron. Keep forgetting that I am iron deficient. Yes, I am. Not getting my iron. My doctor says you're not getting enough iron. I am anemic. So I don't mind collecting iron. That'll fix the anemia. Because you really can't do much automation without iron. Iron is so key. But I also want to get back to the nether so I can get some nether wart. Because if I can... Well, nether wart and I guess the blaze rod... Um, so I can make a make some potions because I'd like to make a um, I'd like to be able to try to trap a zombie villager in the mob farm and then cure him. That would be pretty cool. And then I'll have a villager that I could actually create a trade with, which I think would be fantastic. Ooh, hearing eerie noises. Oh, I keep forgetting to light up. I should turn that off. I think eh, at least when I'm mining. Wind up having mobs spawning behind me. All right. Down to 22 seconds. So my last 22 seconds, as always, thank you for watching. I appreciate all your support. Appreciate everything you guys are doing for YouTube and channels and Minecraft. So keep on doing what you're doing and keep being you. And uh, well, I will catch you tomorrow. 
Yeah, there it is. There's the alarm. And I didn't find any diamonds, so I'm sad. Let's put up a few more torches. And that's it. Whoa, a little tight quarters here. All right, see you later. Happy Thursday.